Welcome to Little Known Black History Facts. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Garrett Augustus Morgan, unsung hero of the 1916 Lake Erie Tunnel Disaster. Garrett Augustus Morgan invented a safety hood device after seeing firefighters struggling to withstand the suffocating smoke they encountered in the line of duty. He filed for a patent on the device in 1912 and founded a company called the National Safety Device Company in 1914 to market it. He was able to sell his invention around the country, sometimes using the tactic of hiring a white actor to take credit rather than revealing himself as the inventor. On July 24, 1916, in an underground tunnel beneath Lake Erie, four miles from Cleveland, Ohio, a terrible construction crew accident occurred. During the drilling process, the workers hit the natural gas pocket. This caused a sudden explosion in the middle of the night, injuring, killing, and burying several workers. As the gas filled the tunnel, the initial rescuers succumbed to the toxic fumes in their fate below ground. Ten of them died. The workers who were trapped in the under-constructed underground tunnel experienced toxic dust and fumes. Sometime later, after three failed rescue attempts, city officials called Garrett Morgan to bring his experimental breathing device to the scene. Morgan was summoned to the scene by a police officer who had seen the demonstration of one of his patented inventions, a smoke hood, that did not use oxygen tanks, but instead used a bag of air that the user wore around their waist. Morgan's invention did not have any pressure restrictions. Known for his multiple inventions, he was called up near four in the morning, urged to bring as many of his recently patented safety hoods as possible. Morgan's safety hoods covered the entire face and connected to long filtered tubes that dangled low near the ground. As hot smoke and fumes rose in the air, cleaner air below could be breathed more safely and filtered more effectively through the mass tubes. Garrett Morgan called his brother Frank and with his neighbor William Roots and other volunteers, loaded his car with 20 of his helmets and rushed to the scene. They descended into the methane-filled hole beneath Lake Erie to find survivors and remove bodies. They were wearing his newly patented gas mask. Garrett, Frank, and two volunteers descended to retrieve the fallen rescuers. Although 10 had already died, they carried out the rest. Having demonstrated the effectiveness of the hood, the rescue began in earnest. Throughout the night and early morning, rescuers, now outfitted in Morgan's protective equipment, dug out the remaining survivors of the explosion. The Morgan brothers and the two volunteers made four trips down into the tunnel, rescuing several men and recovering a number of bodies before officials stopped further rescue and recovery efforts. In the midst of tragedy, Garrett Morgan, inventor of a new type of gas mask, exhibited extreme courage and bravery in descending into the tunnel to search for survivors that night and the following morning. The first two rescue attempts led by the crib superintendent and the construction superintendent rescued none of the work crew and resulted only in the deaths of the 10 rescuers who were overcome by gas in the tunnel. During World War I, in conjunction with other designs, Garrett Morgan's safety hood was later refined to create the device for which he is generally credited, the gas mask. 21 men ultimately perished in that Lake Erie tunnel disaster, with at least nine others being injured. While Morgan's heroism was overshadowed or altogether ignored at the time, it would eventually become a major part of his legacy. Morgan's efforts and bravery that day saved more people than any of the rescuers that had entered the tunnel earlier. In 1991, 28 years after Morgan's death in 1963, the city of Cleveland finally honored this black scientist, inventor, and entrepreneur by renaming the Ohio City Water Facility the Garrett A. Morgan Waterworks Plant. The facility was rededicated due to his rescue of the several men trapped underneath Lake Erie in 1916, thanks to his invention of the gas mask. Until next time, if you like little known history facts as I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. 
Thank you for watching.